Okay, so first of all, go to Insert and select Icons. Then search for Person and select this icon here and then Insert. Now, if you don't have icons in your version of PowerPoint, there are lots of different places on the internet where you can download icons for free. For example, flaticon.com. Then I'll change the color of this graphic to red and change the height to 1.36 centimeters and then move this icon to the bottom. Then while you have the icon selected, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then use the guidelines to line it up. And you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it closer or further away. Then so long as you have kept this icon selected the whole time, then you can press Ctrl D again and it will make another copy of the icon and move it the same amount to the side. And you can keep doing this. So I have three people at the moment, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you want to make your icons in the order that you want them to appear because that is by default the order in which the animations will be applied. Now I have 10 icons here, each representing 50,000 people. So in total, I have 500,000 people here or half a million people. Now I'm going to click and drag to select this whole row and then press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then drag this row above it and use the guidelines to line it up. Then so long as you keep all of these icons selected, you can press Ctrl D again and it will make another copy and move them the same amount upwards. And you can keep doing this. So this is 2 million people, 3 million, 4 million and 4.5 million. Then I will click and drag to select all of these and press Ctrl D again. Then drag these to the side and use the guidelines to line them up. Now I have 9 million people, but I actually want to have 8.7 million, so I'm going to delete some people at the top. So that's 100,000. 200,000, 300,000. And now I have the correct number of people. If you're not sure whether your icons are lined up correctly or not, you can click and drag to select a whole row and then go to arrange and align and align middle. And if they aren't lined up correctly, that will fix it. And you can do the same thing to a column. So if you go to Arrange and Align, you can select Align Center. And you can also go to Align and Distribute Vertically to make sure all of the icons are evenly spaced out. Now I also want to have a label here, so I'll go to Shapes and insert a text box and type 8.7 million and then do some quick formatting on this. And now it's time to add the animations. So click and drag to select all of the icons and then go to animations and select the appear animation. Then change the start to after previous. So each icon will appear one after the other and increase the duration. I am going to make mine 0.1 seconds. And then I'll also add an animation to the label. So I'll give this a wipe animation going from the left. And I'll make this start after previous as well and increase the duration and give it a delay. And if you want to edit the animations, you can select the animation pane. Then select the first graphic, scroll down to the bottom, Hold down Shift and select the last graphic. 
and then you have the animations for all of the icons selected and you can make the same change to all of them. And also down the bottom here you have a time bar that will tell you how long your animation is going to last. So mine is about 19 seconds. Then we can see how the animation will look by going to slideshow and then starting the presentation. 